Hey guys, welcome to my Final Fantasy Brave Extras video, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Halloween units on the JP side for once. We're going to be talking about Grimlock Sakura and also Lucius Nicole, who is a 5 star. And this is the JP version by the way. Uh, I know it's going to be very confusing because she just came out, or not came out, but she just got an upgrade on the global version. So people are going to think, oh, you know, did she get another upgrade or something? No. This is the JP side, and don't get mad because She's a little different uh, because they had to be they had to tune, of course, into the new, you know, more JP meta, so it had to be a little different. So, anyways, let's get into it. So we've got Lucius Nicole here first with a decent S team, our 20% physical evasion on a Magic La Hat. Uh, so that's pretty decent. Let's get into the kit. Decrease physical evasion 50%, but only on turn 10. It literally has a 10 turn cooldown. And no, it's not 10 turn cooldown like you use it and then it's 10 turn. No, you gotta wait until turn 10 to use it. So you might as well just pretend it doesn't even exist because turn 10 is like super late game in, in most trials at, at this point. Because uh, the turn count for a lot of missions, like a lot of missions have like turn counts now. So turn 10 is just like, and it's only 50%, it's not even like 100. So you're waiting for 10 turns for 50%. It's just like whatever. And for anyone who does not play or heard about or anything about Ununite, the new Ununite, uh, phys decreasing physical accuracy is needed for Omega, basically. Uh, decreasing his accuracy does help, but that's really the only application you would ever use this on. And so we have two stacks heavy Mirage, that's nothing new. Renora already has that, and also Kamari, and also Manure. I'll have two stack Mirage, I think. I think Manure has it. I already forgot. I'm, I'm assuming she has it. Probably not though, I don't know. And it has three stacks of Mirage for one ally. It's nothing special either because I, I do believe Manure does have something like that. So that's nothing special at all. And usually if you want to stack Mirage on someone, they probably already have stacks of Mirage. Like C, C for, exa for example, he has tons of stacks. So there, there's no reason for that ability. He has 30% physical and also 50% magical evasion, which is high, but you're not thinking you can really do about making him 100%. Uh, maybe someday there'll be like another, there'll be a 50% magical evasion materia or something, but right now he can only get like 70, maybe 80, depending on what you can find. But other than that, he can't get 100. But it's it's close, it's getting there. They're, they're trying, they're, they're, they're putting their foot forward like this. They're, they're like, oh, how much can we get away with? How much can we get away with? And eventually there'll be like 100% magical evasion units, I'm sure. The, you know, the most interesting thing about him is he has, on his little burst, he has three stacks of AV Mirage, which is completely new. But of course it's on his little burst, so you can't really use it unless you are able to, you know, abuse it through some means, like tr and trust and all that kind of stuff. So three stacks of Mirage is pretty good. I, I kind of want to test it if I ever get him, but I don't think I'm going to be getting him anytime soon. But I did, this morning, I did UOC Grimlord Sakura because she is UOC bull on the JP side, and I did use an All Prism on her, and I did use an STM Rugal on her, and I did UOC another one so that I can use, get some shards. So I basically used two All Prisms because you wanted to get the other one to 7 stars, so it's 50 shards, to get her to EX1. So two all prisms, one S tier Mughal, and twenty UOCs. Maybe thirty, I don't remember exactly, but it was expensive, but no lapis spent. Or tickets. No lapis or tickets spent on this banner whatsoever. Just wanted to point that out. Anyways, as you might expect as a con, in this new era, he has the kid of a four star unit. He really does. A lot of his kid is really like filler, like confusion to all enemies and stuff like that you would expect, you know. Filler, his provoke only lasts for one turn, so it's garbage. And his chaining is very low, 32 times, but it's spirit scaling, but it doesn't matter because it's only 32 times. And it's just like, you'd only use it to help get a cap going, really. 
and even then I don't think it's that good because I don't think he has I don't think he even has triple cast. I think he only has quite, uh, dual cast. So overall, basically as Tiramar fodder with some unique thing on his low burst. His low burst isn't really saving him from getting a low score. He's gonna get a six out of ten. Uh, his low burst definitely saves him from getting a lower score because he would have been like four out of ten, I think. But he's six out of ten, guys. He's not bad for a five star, but. I mean, there's just better. Like, Renora is better. Two stacks of AoE Mirage, and all that machine, machine and human mitigation and stuff like that, so... Illusions to Cole, unfortunately, gets a pass. Pass on that. So now we have the the thing that everybody probably is coming for. Uh, Grimlord Sakura on the JP side. Her STMR is a lot different. And yes, her spear is now her STMR. 190 magic, which is pretty high. And 75% physical and magical undead killer or reaper killer however you want to call it not too bad so her normal form is really support her brave shift is dps she has aoe dark and then she has aoe fire i don't want i don't want to get you guys confused i don't want oh does she have dark and fire at the same time imbue no it's it's separate thankfully so aoe dark and fire imbue quite nice for all allies, of course, that's what AoE means. Um, she has Dark and in her Brave Shift form, but only lasts for one turn, so it's useless. Don't even look at that one. Anyways, 230% full buff, and 40% general mitigation is not that good, but at least it has some general mitigation tied to it, so maybe you're at a point where you can't find any mitigation because everybody else is tied up and doing their own thing. At least you can put 40% in there uh, with, with her buff. She has 30% or 30 low burst gosh fill flat and also 100% LB fill 100% LB damage buff. Sorry about that. Uh, quite nice. She has the full dispel. She so so she dispels both sides. A uh, few units have gotten that, so it's not as special. And in fact, most times it's not that useful because you wouldn't want to dispel your own team unless there's a situation where you really would want to dispel your own team. And I guess. From going forward, this is going to be happening. Uh, the, he, she does have the five, five, five times cap or five hundred percent, which basically means she's above the four times, so she is five times. And new vision lightning, the new lightning STMR will help her. I confirmed this with my Discord. It will help because it will work for magical or physical because it doesn't specify. So she will get the six times cap or six hundred percent with TDH. But keep in mind, guys, that she does not get any variants, so she'll be a little weaker than physical, unfortunately, since magic does not get uh, variants at this point, at this at this you know state of time, she will not get it. So it's still good though that if you have lightning's STMR, you can put that on her, and she'll get the 600% cap, which is very high for mage. Um, I guess going forward, everybody's going to have that 100%. If they're TDH, they're going to have another 100%. So then you can use Lightning's as Teamer to get her them to 600. And some cons, of course, everybody has to have a con. Uh, Graviton Cannon Frames again. Luckily, she's not stuck with them. She does have Bolting Strike for Fire. And she does have Mystic Cross for Dark. Which, it, her Dark moves are main move, definitely. Uh, no Quad Cast, which is a step backwards because a lot of mages in the early seven, like the early Summon Fest era, like um, Pinello and... Lizard Veil, I guess he's not Summon Fest, but Lizard Veil is not all those kind of units. They were stuck with um, Triple Cast, so unfortunately we're taking a step backwards, and now we have only quad or Triple Cast. I don't, I really don't know why that's the case. I can only assume because she's a UFC unit, so they didn't want to make her too good, because there is a situation where she's insanely strong, so I guess they wanted to reduce her burst a little bit. So her burst really is... Her burst is really tied to her dark move, and the reason for that is because she has a 50% boost to her dark element for herself, of course. That's insanely high, and I'm sure that would make her really insanely overpowered if you could uh, quad cast her dark move. Her dark move is 76 times, which is, you know, not, not the highest, but 50% dark element boost is insanely high. Insanely high. Um, Crazy high. That's probably why they may not be able to quad, 
podcast, but it really sucks because she can't really chain with anyone besides maybe some of the older units. Uh, so she'll be a little off, but she could be able, probably be able to use for uh, Dark Vision at least because of that huge boost. I think it's just worth it. You'll lose one cast of her magic, but I mean, 50%, oh my god, dude. That's really high. So, in order to make this review not as long, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So what's my score? I think it is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. I think she's very good. Uh, her, she has a decent support kit. She has imbues for allies. She can be used as a support role. Not the best support, but she can get by. And then her DPS is probably going to be top tier. Not the toppest of tiers, but she'll probably be stronger than most middle mages, like some of the older ones. She'll probably be definitely be stronger than lightning, I think. Because 50% dark boost. That just that just shoots her up. If she did not have that. Uh, she would not be. She would not be. She would be nothing. Um, this is basically the only thing that's saving her. And unfortunately, it's tied to the greatest ability, so you'll be able to only use it for basically eight turns, four turns each. So, hopefully, you can beat the boss by eight turns. I, I'm assuming you'll be able, probably be able to. If you need a dark mage, and you're bringing her to a trial, you'll probably be able to beat it in eight turns with this much damage. I feel like. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helped you out. And deciding if you want to USC her on the JP side or not. I would recommend it if you need a mage. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you are new to the channel, please give a subscription. And if you are already here, please hit that notification bell. It really does help, guys. It's not a meme. And there'll be two videos on the side of the screen here. They may interest you. And if you watch all the way to the end of this video, make sure to type in hashtag JP Halloween. JP Halloween will be the keyword. They're calling it Autumn like Autumn Festival or something like that, but GP Halloween is the keyword. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Peace.